हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एम के एस बायो विजन एंड टूडे वी विल मेक एन ओवर व्यू ऑफ द टॉपिक ट्रांसपोजेबल एलिमेंट इट विल ऑल्सो हेल्प यू इन क्विक रिविजन ऑफ दिस टॉपिक लेटस स्टार्ट विद दिस टॉपिक हियर वी सी ओवर व्यू ऑफ द ट्रांसपोजेबल एलिमेंट Here, transposable elements can be divided into two classes: class one transposable and class two transposable. Class one transposable is retrotransposable that replicates through RNA intermediates. We know this. And the second class of transposable um, transposable moves through cut and paste method, copy and uh, cut and paste method. and this class can be divided into replicative transposon and tra and conjugative transposon about class 1 transposon we know that that this can be of two types ldr types which includes endogenous retroviruses and copia element of fruit fly and gypsy a ty elements of yeast these elements here these are the retrotransposon ltr type of retrotransposon that moves through rna intermediates and the typical structure of this transposon is we are talking about this ltr type ltr type ntr type in this type the ntr you will find a long terminal repeat ntr long terminal repeat long terminal repeat on either side of the transposable element and there is a coding region in which genes are present for the enzyme reverse transcriptase rna is h rna is h and integrase and integrase so far as so far as replication is concerned this retrotransposon replicates in retrovirus fashion by making their rna copy and this rna copy produces complementary dna with the help of this reverse transcriptase enzyme and the complementary and the uh, heteroduplex and the rna strand of the heteroduplex is digested by this rna enzyme rna is h and finally integrase helps in the integration of this transposable element to the recipient site recipient site the copia in fruit fly and ty these are the these are two examples of eukaryote and this is also important for the competitive uh, point of view You must remember these names because they are the LDR type of transposon. The next type is the poly A type of transposon, which doesn't in in case of poly A type, poly A type, no LDR. You will find no LDR. There is no LDR in poly A type. Poly A type. So it also replicates through. Though it also replicates through RNA intermediate, you will find that in case of poly A type, poly A type, you will find that there are direct repeat at the terminal region, direct repeat on both the terminus of this transposon, direct repeat, followed by. Five UTR, three UTR, and 
देर आर टू ओ आर एफ रीजन ओ आर एफ वन एंड ओ आर एफ टू ओ आर एफ टू दिन दिस रीजन इज गेट ट्रांसक्राइब गेट ट्रांसक्राइब वी सी दैट इंटायर रीजन फ्रॉम दिस फाइव टर फाइव यूटीआर टू थ्री यूटीआर इज ट्रांसक्राइब इन टू एम आर एन ए विद द हेल्प ऑफ आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज वन आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज टू आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज टू वी ऑल्सो सी हियर वी सी ए promoter for rna polymerase promoter region promoter region for the rna polymerase having the high affinity for this enzyme and this helps in the quicker transcription of this mrna of this line segment poly mrna is of two types line and sign these are abundant in our genome about 34% this constitutes about 34% of our human genome so far the line is concerned it is about 17% and sign is about 10% 10% sign particularly the lu sequence of the sign is present it is about 10% of the human genome these long interspersed nuclear element and short interspersed nuclear elements are are scattered throughout the genome and they are very abundant as we see here it constitutes about 34% of the entire genome here we see a typical basic structure of this line line the basic structure of this line we see that there are two coding regions orf1 and orf2 orf1 orf1 produces a protein known as ribosomal binding protein ribosomal binding protein that helps in the binding of ribosome whereas orf2 orf2 produces a bifunctional enzyme bifunctional enzyme by functional enzyme having reverse transcriptase and endonuclease activity endonuclease activity endonuclease activity after that finally this this segment will producing mrna and mrna is tra getting translated into protein coding rbp and this bifunctional enzyme reverse transcriptase and endonuclease here also there is a region called poly a region poly a region just 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 after the 3 utr and before this direct repeat before this direct repeat there is a poly a region when this gene is transcribed or line segment is transcribed here is rna having a poly a tail poly a tail and 3 uh, 5 utr and 5 prime utr and 3 3 prime utr 3 prime utr the intermediate sequence it finally gets translated into protein of uh, called rbp and this reverse transcriptase and endonuclease the same enzyme this enzyme binds with this region binds with this region binds with this region this bifunctional enzyme binds with this region and it makes it nick in the target sequence makes a nick in the target sequence suppose this is the target sequence this is the target dna having a 
एटी रिच रीजन एटी रिच रीजन दिस विल मेक ए निक निक इन दिस रीजन एंड ट्राई टू ज्वाइन दिस पॉली ए दिस शुड बी पॉली टी पॉली टी एंड इट विल मेक ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री सिंस द पॉली एडिनिन इट विल मेक ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री सिक्वेंस हियर इट विल मेक ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री सिक्वेंस पॉली ए पॉली ए दिस विल इट इट गेट्स कनेक्टेड विथ हियर gets connected with here and later on the reverse transcriptase activity of this enzyme reverse transcriptase activity of this enzyme helps in the for formation of cdna 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 here is a heteroduplex the red strand is of rna and green strand is of dna cdna finally this heterodu from this heteroduplex rna strand strand is chewed up chewed up by the rna h enzyme rna h which is present in eukaryotic cell uh, eukaryotic cell that will digest this Uh, RNA strand and this way, this way, finally this complementary DNA will produce its complementary sequence in opposite direction and th this will get this will replace this segment. Here you will find this. This segment might be line or sign, line or sign, line or sign, or sign. We know that line, line has reverse transcriptase, endonuclease activity. It can produce its own RNA and finally also gets integrated to the recipient site. Gets in, uh, inserted into the representative the recipient site, but line is shorter segment. Line is a shorter segment. Only it is of line is made up of only 100 to 450 base pair. 450 base pair. Whereas side line is made up of 6 kilo base pair. 6 kilo base pair. The sign is much much shorter in comparison to the line, and because this sign lacks the enzyme, this reverse transcriptase, reverse transcriptase, reverse transcriptase. Further, the transcription of transcription of sign will takes place with the help of with the help of RNA polymerase three, RNA. polymerase 3 here you will find here you see rna polymerase 1 rna polymerase 1 oh sorry 2 rna polymerase 2 in case of line and here you find rna polymerase 3 rna polymerase 3 rna polymerase 3 rna pol as we know rna polymerase 3 is mainly responsible for the synthesis synthesis of tRNA tRNA and this is synthesis for mRNA RNA polymerase to is synthesis for the mRNA RNA polymerase 3 produces tRNA and we find that there is lot of similarity between the product of Uh, this tRNA and the N sequence or or the sign sign the sequence of the sign RNA is quite so lot of similarity with this tRNA because they are transcripted by the same enzyme. Furthermore, we see that. what role does this line and sign performs the line and sign 
performs insertional mutation and results in the frame shift mutation or nonsense mutation sometimes resulting in trunk formation of truncated protein sign the sequence of this sign is sign is non autonomous because it cannot it produce its own enzyme it, it is depend if it, it is dependent on presence of line for its movement therefore it is non autonomous ye sign is non autonomous non autonomous non autonomous it require the presence of presence of line this anu sequence one thing we should remember that this anu sequence is derived from derived from sl 7 sl rna 7 sl rna 7 sl rna 7 sl rna where it comes from 7 sl sl rna a the signal recognition protein present in the cytoplasm signal recognition protein when a new protein is new polypeptide is produced from the ribosome ribosome messenger rna complex this signal recognition protein binds with this complex and guides it to the endoplasmic reticulum lumen it that is why it is called signal recognition protein signal recognition protein it it is a complex of protein and rna and the rna is 7 sl rna 7 sl rna then therefore it can be signal recognition protein sl rna comes from signal recognition protein and anu sequence is derived from this anu sequence of anu sequence can be used for making phylogenetic tree in the primates because of the abundance depending on the abundance of anu sequence in various primates group further it also activates it also activates mirna micro rna in zebra fish zebra fish thus activating the mirna activity and we know that messenger micro rna helps in the post translational post transcriptional gene silencing pgts therefore it also plays role in either gene regulation play a role in the gene regulation at the transcription level particularly at the transcription level particularly <coughs> either by inhibiting the expression of translation inhibiting the translation or completely halting the translation process both the possibilities are there next we see the second class of transposable element moves through cut and paste method cut and paste method and this is of two types also this is also of two types one is the replicative transposon tn stands for the transposon replicative transposon tn3 this is a complex transposon complex transposon which replicates via co integrates a process of site specific recombination tn3 we can say that the duplication of this tn transposon tn3 transposon helps through dna intermediate dna intermediate it doesn't require rna for its transposition or duplication the other type 
of transposition other type of transposone or last type is the conservative transposone conservative transposone has very sim simple structure conservative type of transposone you will see that in conservative type of transposone here we see inverted repeat inverted repeat on either side inverted repeat here inverted repeat here and in the intervening sequence coded codes an enzyme that is for transposes transposes this transposer enzyme helps in the excision as well as integration of this transposone from one place to another if this can consists of only two inverted repeat on either side of this transposes this is called insertion element insertion element that is a common bacterial transposon however you can also get get two coding genes is some structural genes coding two insertion element this is a one insertion element having two inverted repeat on either side and a gene coded in row for the transposer enzyme but if we talk about tn9 and tn10 you will see that this uh, here you see that there are two insertion element on either side and there is a coding sequence coding sequence for some antibiotic resistance strain it might be tetracycline chloramphenicol etc if there is tetracycline in is the structural gene then this transposon is known as tn10 if it is chloramphenicol then this transposon the transposon is known as tn9 the the t insertion element tn9 tn10 tn3 these all these all are present in the e coli or bacteria prokaryote but this conservative transposon conservative transposons are also present in eukaryotes eukaryotes for example p element and acds p element p element in drosophila and acds in uk p element and acds in corn acds in corn or wheat corn or wheat p element is a transposon having typical structure having a transposer gene inter Flank, flank by inverted repeat from either side. But apart from the transposes, transposes it also codes an enzyme known as repressor. Repressor. Suppose P P. Here is the P, P element. Better clean this code. Otherwise, it will P element found in Drosophila. P element. P element. You will get inverted repeat on either side, inverted repeat on either side, and in the middle region you will get transposer gene, transposer, transposes. One gene is transposer, and another gene is the P repressor, P repressor, repressor, transposer and P repressor.
P element G transpose or P element G or here you find P replacer. This this transpose is also known as P element G. P element G and P replacer. P element G which After the translation and tra after the transcription and translation, they produces P. This is the transpose transposes and this is the repressor. This is a repressor. Repressor. Ye repressor. Repressor. P repressor. This is P repressor and this is P element. P repressor and P element. We know that. Actually, after the breeding experiment, it was not noticed that some strain of Drosophila possesses this P element and some strain are P negative. They don't, they lack P element. A cross was made between P positive and P negative. P negative, no, also known as M strain. M strain P positive and P negative. P positive in the first breeding experiment. P positive was there. There are two possibilities here. In one case, you see that P positive is the female and P negative. P negative or M strain is P positive is the male, female, and P negative is male. Producing sperm. In the hybridization experiment, the F1 hybrid, F1 hybrid, it was found that F1 hybrid in such kind of cross where the female is P plus. And male is P minus or M strain or M strain. M strain, you will find F1 is normal. Normal. But when the case is reversed, in the second case, when P plus is male and P minus is female the f1 produces sterile f1 produces f1 is produces sterile gamete gamete sterile gamete how can you explain this case We all know that female contributes cytoplasm. The egg, the gamete egg, brings cytoplasm of the mother, whereas sperm doesn't carry any cytoplasm. In case of P plus female, the cytoplasm, the mother producing egg, and the nucleus of the egg is carrying p element but the cytoplasm the cytoplasm of the egg is containing p replacement nucleus may p element hai p element and cytoplasm may pr hai repressor the repressor presence of repressor do not allow p or trans element or transpo transposon to move from one place to another after the after f1 the jagged formation we find that here a male is not contributing any p element p element is coming from the maternal side it it is it also taking the cytoplasm of the mother and this cytoplasm is having p repressor and th this way f1 is normal because the zygote in zygote the nucleus 
has p element but the cytoplasm has p repressor and the repressor is having some having a kind of check on this p element and after this this normal gametes normal f1 hybrid is produced but in second case here p is male and p is female in this case you see that male is sperm doesn't carry any uh, any cytoplasm therefore it lacks repressor lack re re uh, repressor here there is no chance of either p element or repressor because it is p negative after the after hybridization the f1 hybrid it produces f1 hybrid produces sterile gamete why because there is no check on the p element due to lack of repressor and p element is causing heavy mutation in the germline cell and this is especially known as hybrid dysgenesis this is called hybrid dysgenesis hybrid this hybrid dysgenesis the second case i think this is clear that how p element is getting transferred to the maternal side and making normal hybrid despite of present of this p gene in the nuclear uh, in the chromosome but the zygote remains normal but in this in second case there is no check by the p repressor element because there is no cytoplasm and the sperm and this will lead to the sterile gamete or hybrid dysgenesis now one more type of eukaryotic conservative transposome eukaryotic transposome conservative transposome is acds activator and dissociator Activator and dissociator ACDS. Activator and dissociator. Yeah, dissociation, not dissociator. Dissociation. Dissociation. Activator. These are the regulatory elements for the gene. These are the regulatory elements. Known as controlling elements, by controlling elements, ये क्या करता है? This regulates the expression of C gene, anthocyanin producing C gene, anthocyanin, anthocyanin producing gene, producing gene. Anthocyanin is responsible for producing color, producing purple color in the aneurysm layer. Purple color in seed kernel, seed kernel, seed kernel, seed kernel. किसका seed है corn, corn seed kernel, corn seed kernel. ये क्या करता है द टिपिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एसीडीएस एलिमेंट इज द सेम हैविंग इन्वर्टेड रिपीट इन्वर्टेड रिपीट ऑन आइदर साइड ऑफ द जीन ट्रांसपोजेज ट्रांसपोजेज ट्रांसपोजेस दिस देर आर टू जीन्स एक्टिवेटर एंड डिसोसिएशन एक्टिवेटर जीन is the complete gene autonomous gene 
ऑटोनोमस जी ऑटोनोमस जी एक्चुअली दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्रांसपोजोन इज एसोसिएटेड विद द डिस्कवरी ऑफ द ट्रांसपोजोन इन टाइम लेटर ऑन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोजोन वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वेदर ए जीन कैन चेंज इट्स पोजिशन और ए जीन जीन्स कैन बी ट्रांसपोजिबल दिस फैक्ट वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाय बारबरा मैकलिंटॉक एंड सी गेव द कंसेप्ट ऑफ जंपिंग जीन सी कॉल्ड ए सी डी एस कंट्रोलिंग एलिमेंट ए सी डी एस आर द सिमिलर जीन्स हैविंग द सिमिलर कोडिंग सिक्वेंस दे आर वेरी सिमिलर जीन्स ए सी इज लार्जर एंड द डी एस इज द डिलीशन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द ए सी ए सी इज ए कंप्लीट ट्रांसपोजोन कंप्लीट कंजर्वेटिव ट्रांसपोजोन इट कैन मूव ऑन इट्स ऑन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द एंजाइम प्रोड्यूस बाई बट डी एस कैन नॉट मूव ऑन इट्स ऑन इट रिक्वायर्स द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ए सी इट रिक्वायर्स द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ए सी सपोज हियर इज अ डी एस एलिमेंट डी एस एलिमेंट एंड हियर इज अभी एलिमेंट सी जी दैट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग कलर और पिगमेंट इट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग कलर इन द कार्नल सी जी इज दिस इज द जीन सेगमेंट एंड दिस इज द डी एस डी एस द टारगेट डी एस जम्प फ्रॉम दिस ओरिजिनल लोकेशन विच इज जनरली अप स्ट्रीम इट it might gets inserted into this coding region of this c gene or sometimes it gets inserted into this and sometimes it moves out of this this way it so you will get there is there is the color production is not regular sometimes color is produced when this c gene is functioning normally it will it will producing the color but when this ds gets inserted in the coding region it is unable to produce color and we know that there is ac somewhere else sitting because in absence of ac ds cannot move ac is the big brother of this ds and it requires it cannot move unless ac is there it might be on the same chromosome or it might be somewhere in in the genome on the different chromosome also the insertion of this insertion of ds element if ds is get inserted in the coding region of this c element it will produce lack color lack of color why yellow when it gets inserted gets inserted it will produce yellow color when it moves out it will produce purple color purple color and sometimes it and during the development of zygote uh, sometimes it gets inserted into remains inserted into this c genome sometimes it moves out this why this, you will find there is a variation in the pattern of seed color variation sometimes seeds might have a yellow patch or spot patch or spot if the seed is purple okay the gene is functioning well if the seed is yellow gene is not functioning due to any region due to either it may be recessive gene or it may be due to the insertion of this ds element but you if you see any patch or stripe from this seed called seed you can see you you can explain this phenomena but that in this way that sometimes this gene is getting inserting inserting itself into the genome and sometimes it is moving out when it is moving out 
it is producing bell, it is producing purple color and it is getting inserted, it is producing yellow color. That is why you find there is such kind of pattern in the kernel of the cord. AC the sometimes the, this DS element gets attached ahead of this C plus gene, ahead of or in the beginning of this C plus gene and if there is uh, such association of DS and C plus gene then the entire fragment is lost entire fragment it, it, it causes chromosomal breakage and the, this DS element Cause, causes chromosomal breakage resulting in the loss of this particular segment of the gene and this way there is permanent loss of color because now the, jaw, uh, now the gene is gone this way we have seen we have revised the entire uh, topic in a very shortest possible manner though this is not possible to do all this thing in each lecture we will describe only a particular class or particular class type but here we have made a plan to revise the entire topic in the shortest possible manner so that you can have a uh, overview of this topic please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel mk's mk's biology life science by dr milen thank you have a nice day